Goodness gracious, we are back, guys, and this one is going to be one heck of a heater, all right? So hope you're sitting down, drinking on something, because this is actually the rehashing of an old story involving Sensor. Doug Sensor Martin recently, actually during a Game Battles event, got an entire Call of Duty team banned, and at least one of their members banned, until 2049 after severe accusations of cheating. We covered that whole video. If you guys want to go back and check it out, I'll give you a brief TLDR after accusing this team and Game Battles agreeing that uh, what Doug presented was sufficient evidence to actually ban the team and progress Doug's team instead. It was actually Visitox, now the accused cheater, responding to all of this. Now I'm going to play for you guys a short clip which was one piece of what Doug says is many and the most evidence and blatant evidence of cheating that he has ever seen in his 10-year COD career to which he submitted to game battles. I'm going to show you one clip but that's all we really have. Following that clip, I'm going to show you the accused cheater who admitted at one point in time having an account with a cheating website, but says he later on deleted it. But he did admit that at one point he had an account for a cheat providing website, which is instantly, as you guys are aware, pretty suspicious. By me? On my left? Running up middle, running up middle. Which are you? He's middle on me. He's in my cubby. Two middle, two middle, both middle, both middle, they're hitting, uh, one's hitting bottom church and the other one's gonna... Um, so, so you, you did have an account on Sky Cheats at once, so... That's what uh, you saying. yes, I did a while ago, yes. And you were, you said you were gonna use them for Warzone hacks? Yes, but then Crossfire, huh. Crossfire and Tino, they both told me, you should, you should get this, you should definitely bring down your fucking, uh, what do you call it? That bullshit ass account. You should definitely delete the account and you, stuff like that. Can you go to Sky Cheats? To you. Real quick. Uh, yeah, I got you. Here, let me just make a new tab. I'll keep that up. Yeah. And beyond that, it was actually Game Battles who agreed with Sensor and thus banned that team for the accused cheater. Now, there's not too many big other names who have addressed this. I believe the flank has covered this too, but certainly suspicious. And I will say, uh, when I first covered this, I'll repeat what I said then. If you ever are trying to defend yourself in a hacking and cheating accusation and you have to admit that at one point you signed up for a hacking and cheating website and we can't really prove whether or not you went out and did anything with that, you already kind of just admitted guilt in the sense that you have thought about cheating before and even went as far to make an account to do it. So a lot of the public community, no matter no matter what you say, is not going to believe you and that is the big issue here, but game battles... It's not just censor. I know a lot of people fear because Ninja has done this before in Valorant. We've had other big names out there accuse people of cheating without facing the repercussions of doing so because false accusations are a big, big deal. But Game Battles also made the ruling. So this should not fall on Doug. This should fall on Game Battles because they are, they are the TO in this case who made that ruling. Either way, the accused cheater has now responded to Doug. And well, I guess the, the ball is now in his court of whether or not to respond. As he said in his statement addressing censor and the community, I do not cheat and I will continue to fight for my name. I've had nothing to hide throughout this situation and succumbed to a stupid amount of time of PC checks. I'm not scared to face Doug, Censor Martin, or the people attempting to provide anything they can to try and use against me. I showed an ample amount of proof proving that I do not cheat and haven't ever cheated. Censor, you made this mess and you're hanging by less than a strand in the competitive world. My team and I beat you fair and square. You used your admin friends in game battles to IP ban me without any fair shake or allowance to speak. You used your platform and brand to accuse me of cheating without any valid proof, just to advance in challengers. You couldn't handle losing to nobodies as your team called us that in between rounds. We have clips of that. I understand you're pissed about being on seven teams in seven days, but that doesn't give you the right to attempt to destroy my future or anybody else's future in Call of Duty. You've attempted to ruin other careers before, like the time you wore a wire to get drunk pros to admit to cheating for PPs, which your team was caught doing anyway. All of this proves elite challengers and the league is a friend only league. And if you don't know somebody inside, you won't get a chance. Any real competition is now considered cheaters now for beating big names. The situation is proof right here. We are a threat to censor status at becoming a pro again. I went to Zuma for help and he ended up listening to hear to hearsay and sided with Doug because of hearsay without any proof of me cheating. You pros aren't about what's fair. You guys are just covering each other to keep making mega bucks and screwing the nobodies out of ever making it. 
any time that play we played and beat Sensor the other day would have received accusations no matter what. This isn't just about what's happening to me either, as this is a serious issue being used against the whole of Call of Duty community often. I've been harassed, received death threats, and had people providing BS proof that's not even close to viable, in an attempt to slump my name and bring me down. I refuse to walk away when I've done nothing. I will compete and I will not leave the scene. Let this be known. Visitox. And that is one of the craziest statements that I've read in a long time. And whether or not he's guilty, I kind of got to give him props because he made some subtle digs in there whilst also being very serious about what have been some prominent issues in the past. Of course, he calls out Sensor for some things he has done in his past, which maybe aren't too relevant. And he tries to, to degrade him during his statement, which maybe it could have kept a bit more serious. But also, he brings up the Friends League issue and the fact that these accusations by big names can be very troublesome for people who are trying to have upcoming careers, which I do agree with. But the problem is, you have already admitted to signing up for a cheating website. It is now up to the TO game battles to hopefully converse with you privately or to someone to converse with you privately and show you the evidence of what I guess they banned you for. I do understand this is a now very, very hairy situation because Censor was the one who made the initial claims and is not going to show what he calls as blatant evidence of cheating. I would love for Censor to break that down. I would love for Game Battles to respond and do the same because as of right now, we have an 11 second clip and we have accusations by a pro team against your team, which got you banned until 2049. At the end of the day, though, I will say this should not fall on Censor. It does partially, but it ultimately falls on Game Battles for making the decision themselves. They should be showing something. They should be uh, reviewing this evidence and hopefully making a statement. But I don't know if they're going to do that. This got pretty intense pretty fast. It was also censored at one point in time, actually quote tweeting this, saying he was going to release a video. And so we'll see if he actually does that with all of the evidence because walking us through all of this for the court of public opinion seems pretty important by now. What do y'all think about this? An accused Call of Duty cheater has now called out Censor after Censor got him and his team banned and him personally, the accused cheater banned, until 2049. The stories keep on getting crazier and I don't know how. Until next time, do me a favor. All right, drink up. I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Okay, bye.